and i think it was love at first sight we had love at first sight so i'm really gonna miss edmonton yes guys my sister is in canada this is the downtown area of ottawa do it again <laughs> Hello people, hi guys. So I just ended one vlog, my travel to Ontario vlog, which you must have seen, and I decided to start another vlog because this is so important. It's leading me to another phase of my life. Like I don't know how to describe it. I don't know when you get to see this vlog, but I'm excited at the same time. I am nervous for this next chapter of my life. So what's it about? I am moving to Ontario. <laughs> yes, Greta is packing up all she has known for the past eight, nine months in Edmonton and she's moving to Ontario. I'm moving to Ontario. Yeah, it's not, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going there to pursue a program, a short program, and I'll, um, hopefully I'll be back to Edmonton. Hopefully, I'll be back to Edmonton. I don't want, I do not want to say, I don't see myself living in Ontario because things can change, right? But hopefully, I'll be back to Edmonton because I love, 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 love Edmonton. I've come to fall in love with Edmonton. I think it was love at first sight. Maybe I could go to Calgary tomorrow and I'll love Calgary. But I've come to fall in love with Edmonton. We had love at first sight, so I'm really gonna miss Edmonton. But for now, now I'm going to pursue life in Ontario for a short while, and um, I really cannot wait to explore what this phase holds for me. I know it's in God's hands. Today was my last day at work. It was a very emotional day. Like I cried. I cried, I cried, I cried. I've never cried like that. I had to run to the bathroom to get myself all straightened up. As I saw my participants crying and I couldn't hold back, I cried. My colleagues were wonderful. After work, some of them took me out to a Liberian restaurant and we got to eat. You must have seen the video, uh, which was like the first initial clip. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I know God knows. And that's why I have chosen to leave everything in his hands. Um, this week has been really, really very busy for me. And... Today being Friday is currently almost 12 midnight and I basically just got back from wherever I went to. So I have, I leave on Sunday. My flight is for Sunday and I have lots of things. Two people to visit on Saturday. I need to make my hair and I know that the Holy Spirit will give me strength. I'm not going to Toronto. I'm not going to one of the bubbling cities in Ontario. I'm going to like the northern part of Ontario. Please stay tuned as I carry you along in my preparation process to going to start life in Ontario. Hi guys, welcome back to another entry in my moving to Ontario vlog. This is the second entry I'll be doing and currently I'm in Ottawa, Ontario. Ottawa is the capital of Ontario. I'm sorry I couldn't do um, much entries during my preparation because everything was just happening so fast. I hardly had time. I had to make my hair. I made it myself and my sister supported me greatly. Yes, guys, my sister is in Canada. My younger sister is in Canada. She arrived in Canada, I think, about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, as a permanent resident. So I have a family here who is a permanent resident. My excitement these few weeks, even though we've already started having some banters, but my excitement these uh, few weeks has been um, has been off 
the roof like i'm grateful to god for that um yes i was not able to record her coming in because she's a private person and she wanted her privacy so i respected that i did some videos but she doesn't want me to post them so i respected that however if you want me to make like a sit down video all by myself not her included about how she came to canada from the uk as a healthcare worker and also how she got her application rejected and approved within a space of four months please let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to do that um, anyways why am i in ottawa ottawa is not my final destination my final destination is thunder bay in ontario thunder bay is in the north part of ontario but i am spending a night here in ottawa not by choice but by circumstances through that came through the airline that my flight from edmonton was delayed by about an hour 30 minutes and there was supposed to be like a 50 minutes layover here in ottawa before i take uh, before i board the flight to thunder bay so you can see by not by choice i missed it and then they um, booked me in this hotel I don't know if I should call this place a hotel or just a stop. I, I, anyways, I'll just do a video of what the hotel looks like. I don't like it, but what can I do about it? The flight, the the airline is only covering the cost of the room and the tax. No food. I've not eaten since morning. I've only had Oreo biscuits, some of my Oreo um, biscuits or cookie, and then complimentary and juice that is served on the plane. I am famished what has it been today has been stressful i had issues with um my oversized luggage um like i had three bags i, I just kept buying um bag space bag space bag space like the first one is cheap if you're buying a second baggage space if you're buying a second baggage allowance you pay more if you're buying a third baggage allowance you pay as high as hundred dollars plus guys my head has been here and there all this time at the airport of course the bags were still overweight and they wanted me to pay an extra hundred and something dollars for the little four kg overweight and i told them no way i had to start arranging and arranging and i took out my winter jacket held it in my hand today has been like one of my best days so far let me just speak positive words be that as it may let me quickly show you what the room i'm staying in looks like i am a bit not scared but just like hey, what's going on this is my first time staying in a hotel all by myself i've either stayed with someone or no hotel at all but staying in a hotel all by myself in a place i've never been to before it's my first time in ottawa seeing ottawa i liked it even though we landed in the evening um but i think i like ottawa although ottawa is a bit cold at this time of the year it's just early september ottawa is cold we don't have this kind of cold in edmonton like right now yes in the evenings nights in edmonton currently get cold but not as cold as this but i'm glad i had that winter jacket though so guys let me quickly show you what the room looks like so this is the door i have locked it and also used that bolt there or that extra lock there and then you have a closet here a horrible one here you have a laundry room and to my left most of the lights are not working I, well i just I, i've just come to sleep so that i can be on my way tomorrow most um here you have the kitchen microwave coffee make microwave coffee maker um fridge gas top and some closet and extractor it's like an airbnb but they call it suits they have different rooms um the family can really live here then you have like uh the living room area with the tv if i wasn't leaving early tomorrow morning i would have just chilled here and watched some tv even though i know that i have books to read then over here you have the bathroom this is what it looks like just like not nothing so fancy about the place 
then here this light is not working guys but i just want to show you i don't know if my lights will work here you have a room with double beds and a tv here so this place can easily pass off as a family ouch this place can easily pass off as a family uh maybe airbnb just move if you're moving in and you're looking for a place to stay like mother father or children um then this room i'm not staying in there because i don't see why i should be in there then just by side by side you have another room all by itself which is where i'll be staying this room has a bed but no tv this is what it looks like then it overlooks this is the downtown area of ottawa oh it overlooks um i'm on the fourth floor it overlooks the downtown busy area it's currently almost 10 30 p.m and see how the place is toronto is way busier than this at night that's what the place looks like food 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 is here